Welcome back. You're watching Business Lunch and slight bit of weakness is setting into the market. Uh, in fact, more than earlier seen and right now Nifty 50 is trending towards the uh, lower red zone. Now, IT as well as pharma, these are the two spaces which are looking like the weakest points and are dropping further. All right, moving on to some big comments coming in on CNBC TV 18. The global chairman and CEO of EY is here in India just ahead of the announcement of his successor, which is, remember, expected in November this year. Now, speaking to CNBC TV 18, Shireen Bhan, he says that India is on top of the list for global investors. And he also said that there is huge appetite to invest in India and also identify geopolitics as the biggest risk to global growth. India is probably top of the list for global investors in terms of where to invest, uh, you know, in the next few years or, or even more than that. And a lot of it has to do with, obviously, everything you, India has going for it. Uh, obviously, the most obvious thing is demographic. It's entrepreneurship. It's, um, it's frankly, you know, the, the ability for business to flourish. There's, there's great entrepreneurship in, in India around tech. Uh, the, you know, and, and I think there will be more and more around AI as well. Uh, so that's something that I think, you know, India's poised to do more in. Uh, and, I, and I could tell you a little bit about what we're doing. But, but it's, uh, you know, so consumer tech, um, I think. Now, the sector that I think India has a great opportunity in is manufacturing. Mm. Um, that's something that obviously India can capitalize in terms of what's happening in terms of people moving their supply chains away from China. I think all companies today are looking at their China operations. And number one, making sure that data uh, that's produced in China stays in China. Uh, that's important. It's important to the Chinese regulators. So, so we have all our clients looking at, you know, what technology they're using in China, what data they're producing in China. And this is important to both, to both sides. Um, and so that's, that's number one. Number two, uh, all our clients are going down the route of more of what's produced in China is sold in China, what's produced elsewhere is sold elsewhere. So those, are, I would say, are two rules of thumbs. Um, and then, you know, I do think the world wants to see where China is going mm -hmm. uh, from, from a future perspective. I think uh, their economy has slowed uh, and, they're, you know, they're still kind of coming out of the COVID period. Um, and then there's going to be, right now, I would say, there's acceptance to invest in China in certain sectors, mm -hmm. um, certainly not in tech, um, and certainly not in any kind of sector that could have a geopolitical consequence. All right, that is a very interesting chat with EY and the global CEO. But with that, we're going to wind down in this edition of Business Lunch. Thank you all for tuning in. We have Midcap Radar up in June.